Hi, you're here with Joe, forcesoffitness.com. Uh, this is the performance library. We're going to go over the soft tissue work for tennis elbow. Okay, so we're going to start, um, remember, from the first video, okay? If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it, and then watch this one, okay? But from the first video we talked about, when you have ten tennis elbow, what's the first thing you should do? You should ice, okay? Ice four times a day until the ice melts. What's the next thing you should do? Uh, so we should do soft tissue work. Soft tissue work next, stretching after that, activation finally after that. Okay, so you, you got done icing. Now we're going to address the problem, internal rotation, right? We're going to do soft tissue work that will allow you to internally rotate better. We're going to turn off, turn the volume down on certain muscle groups that are restricting your internal rotation. And after that, we're going to work on the movement itself by stretching into it and then strengthening the movement, okay? Uh, so one of the first things we'll do, if you have a dowel stick at your gym, which most gyms do, or even a tiger tail at the very least, uh, or some kind of apparatus, some kind of uh, long metal bar, anything like that that can dig into the first rib, uh, is, that's what we're going to address first. So the first rib uh, has sent some nerve tissue down the back of the tricep into that, um, into that lateral part of the elbow where you might feel the epicondylitis or tennis elbow. Right, so we want to start by addressing the nervous system. We're going to get um, a dowel stick or a tiger tail into the first rib. This is kind of in between your collarbone and, uh, and, your, scap and your scapula, right back here. We're going to dig right into there, okay, with a tool against the wall. I'm going to show you just what that is. Uh, and then we're going to work on some internal rotation stretching while we're holding down that soft tissue work and making sure that that isn't the reason that you're feeling your tennis elbow. Okay, so we're going to come right over here to the wall. Right, so we have this long dowel stick here, which is you know, kind of a little big, it's kind of a little awkward, but whatever. We're going to put it right against the wall. We're going to get the head of this dowel stick, and we're going to put it uh, right on that first rib. We're going to create some room. So we're going to lay supine, right? get the head of this dowel stick. We're going to dig it into that first rib, okay? And um, we'll give you guys a better angle so you can see exactly where it is. But for now, just watch the range of motion. Right, so we're going to dig in, really apply some good pressure if you can. Okay, by using your feet to push back into the wall. Okay, um, so we're going to take our arm, we're going to go all the way up, we're going to reach an external rotation, and then we're going to come back down, internal rotation. All right, we're going to bring our elbow out to the side, internally, externally rotate, try to clean the movement up while we're tacking down the tissue. Okay, so we're getting some length in the tissue while we're going to internal and external rotation. Uh, last thing we're going to do is go into deep internal rotation where most of the problem really is. We're going to bring that arm right underneath your body. Okay, bring your hips up off the ground and really dig into that second or first rib. Sorry, press down. Make sure you're breathing. Very important. I'm not doing much breathing since I'm talking, but you guys don't have to talk. Do a lot of breathing for your stomach. Okay. Make it vocal. Relax the nervous system. In through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? Keep that, try to keep that shoulder pinned down against the ground while you're in internal rotation. So we don't want too much gliding up of this shoulder, okay? So try to keep it pinned and then go, in, go into internal rotation. Press, give yourself three to five minutes here, okay? Uh, once again, this is, this is a soft tissue technique, right? This is a soft tissue technique that's gonna take a while to relax your nervous system and create some good length in the tissue. So uh, it's not a 30 second approach, it's a three to five minute approach and uh, anyone will testify to this. You know, just go ahead and give yourself three to five minutes and just see uh, the difference you feel in your shoulder after. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is um, an external rotation mobilization, right? We're gonna use the band, we're gonna do a band distracted stretch here. Okay, and what, uh, what we know about people who have poor internal rotation is usually that they're stuck in internal rotation. Um, they usually look internally rotated, their shoulders are rounded forward, um, and that's, that's usually the cause. And having poor internal rotation range of motion and also being stuck in IR is usually the cause for tennis elbow, right? So we want to get that person externally rotated, okay? And um, sometimes you can't get externally rotated unless you do a capsule mold or you know what it feels like to be externally rotated. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this super band, which you can get at performbetter.com, Rogue Fitness. Uh, you can even find one online. It's just called the super band, right? And we're going to tie it around a pose, something stable that's not going to move and fall on you. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is get your arm through, get this band to your shoulder, 
Okay, so that's pulling laterally. It's pulling the shoulder out laterally. I'm lying supine. Okay, I'm on my back. Get your hand behind your head and scoot out and get as much tension as you can, right? So my elbow's facing straight to the ceiling. I'm gonna take my hand, okay? I'm gonna press my shoulder down to the ground. Once I'm pressing my shoulder downward, I'm gonna press it inward, keeping my hand behind my head, okay? So now the band is distracting, it's pulling my shoulder out uh, into the side of the capsule there, okay? And I'm gonna press my elbow in toward my chest. Try to hold a few seconds, right? And then come back. Hold one, two, come back. Keep that downward pressure and that inward pressure. Okay, we're trying to get that elbow kind of inside of the wrist here, all right? As that band pulls your shoulder out. So give that stretch two to three minutes, okay? Come up, roll your shoulders out. Uh, go into internal external rotation. Just see how your shoulder feels. Go through your tennis swing. See if you feel a little looser, a little different. Um, and check back in again. All right, thanks guys.